I would like to say at this point that I am very, very pleased that I actually didn't grow up in Britain uh, as a black person. Assalamu alaikum, my name is uh, Naima B. Robert and I'm a writer and an entrepreneur. I am black in the sense of culturally, I feel that I'm black. I'm also mixed race because my father's white. I'm African because my parents are from Africa. My father's white South African, my mother was Zulu. Um, and I was just born in Britain, but I grew up in Africa, which makes a huge difference. And then I came to England and became Muslim in England. One of the reasons I didn't become Muslim straight away was identity. But when it came time for Shahada, I was like, no way. And my friend who was Jamaican had just converted and she was like, you know, why don't you just take the plunge? And I said, look, I'm African, okay, I'm black. So she said to me, I said, look, Islam seems to me to be about Asians and Arab culture. And I'm African, I don't want to be an Arab and I don't want to be an Asian, so where does that leave me? And she said to me very simply, well, there are African Muslims, you know, like, why don't you check that out? And I said, okay, I will. A lot of people don't know that I'm black because I could be kind of anything, Arab, Pakistani, whatever. Um, so until I actually say I'm from Zimbabwe or I speak an African language or something, then people are not really sure where to place me. All my other identities aside, the fact that I wear the niqab, it just makes it slap bang Muslim woman, clearly, okay? So if people, uh, if people approach me in a certain way, it's usually because they know I'm a Muslim woman. I grew up in Africa, in Zimbabwe. I had an education in an African school, in a Zimbabwean school. I learned about my country, I learned about our region, and I learned about Africa. So for me, Africa is a real place. It's a place of many different peoples, cultures, uh, you know, clans, languages, you know, everything you can think of. Africa is a continent, okay? Now, from what I see, black people who grew up in Britain grew up without knowledge of who they, who they really were, certainly originally. Uh, and it, whatever knowledge they got later on in life was kind of started with slavery. Uh, and that's a very sad narrative to start with. The problem is not with us. The problem is with others refusing to see us for who we are and acknowledge us for who we are in our similarities and in our differences. I think that that's where the issue is. Uh, I think there are times when black people need to come together because our challenges are very specific to being black. I went back to Africa and saw Africa has deep, I mean, so Islam has deep roots in Africa. This is no, it's no small thing. You had cities, scholars, there were princes, they were going to Hajj. You know, it was a real civilization that existed pre-slavery. So our roots and Islam's roots in Africa, if you want to research Usman Danfordi or research, the, you know, the, 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 the um, Sokoto Caliphate, research African Muslims and Islam in Africa and you will see that there's a long, rich and varied history there. So in a way, even if you're going to go back to Africa, there's no reason for us to have to adopt anything Islamic from anybody else's culture. We have our own traditional African Islamic culture. And then of course, if you're looking at modern culture, I mean, at the end of the day, Islam is a religion that is universal and we say that. Uh, and I think many of us struggle to reconcile that with our modern identities and with you know, modern ways of being. But I believe, and inshallah, we will see as we move forward and we gain more knowledge and more confidence, that it is possible to be a Muslim in all shades and in all varieties and in all types of dress and all walks of life, really. And we have to hold on to that because what happens is people end up losing themselves when they become Muslim. Keep the faith